Hi, welcome to this edition of the Traders Talks. My name's Terry on from the Technical Support Team. During this talk, we're going to go through the Hikvision HBR 4.0 GUI menu. Live view option. Live view displays the video image from each camera connected to the device. You can view live camera footage from four up to 32 live streams. You can change the layout display of live cameras connected in this option. Option two on the menu, playback option. You can view live video footage playback of video recordings. You can choose time and date of the video playback. Video footage shows a blue section in the playback option. Option 3 on the menu, file management option. In this option you can select the camera or cameras that you want to export recording footage. You can select the recording type, date and time range that you want to back up and export to. You can also filter human or vehicle recording footage if you have enabled motion detection for this type of recording to be captured when triggered. Option 4 in the menu, Smart Analysis option. In this option you can search smart events that have been enabled on the device. These can include line crossing and intrusion detection captured video events. Option 5 on the menu, camera option. In this option you can view information on the cameras that have been added. You can also add coax and IP cameras to the device. You can edit the display information for each camera connected. You can also edit the OSD display information that appears on each camera. You can also set up a privacy mask on connected cameras, which is a feature where you can block recording areas on the cameras if required. You can also adjust camera video and audio recording stream type, frame rate and video encoding settings. Option 6 in the menu, storage option. You can set your recording schedule to be active continuously. This is the default setting or schedule to only record at certain days of the week. You can also set to have motion detection recordings only. In the advanced options, you can enable overwrite on the hard disk options, which means the oldest Recordings will, will be overwritten as space is used up on the hard drive. Enabling hard disk sleeping function can switch the hard disk into sleep mode when not recording to, to prolong the life of the hard disk and also save energy. The cloud storage option enables the function to upload triggered recordings by events. The cloud storage enables the function to upload recordings triggered by events. Option 7, seven on the menu settings. System options. You can set the VGA HDMI output resolution settings. In the user option settings, you can, you can add other users to have login access to the device and change access permissions. In the network option, you can configure the network settings, enabling DHCP connection settings if required. In the DDNS settings, you can enable 
remote connection on the device using domain name service settings. You will need to use port forward settings when using this type of connection. In the advanced network settings, you can enable platform access on the device to connect to the HIT Connect remote access. In event option, you can set up normal and smart events. In normal events, you can draw detection areas that link to linked ac actions that you can then receive alerts on your mobile device. Smart events is where you can enable settings such as line crossing, intrusion detection, and where you can set thresholds of how long an object has to be in an area before triggering video capture. Live view option Change your video image for each camera connected to the device. You can change the layout display of live cameras connected in this option and their settings. Option 8 of the menu maintenance option. You can find system information of the device such as the make, model and serial number and current firmware version of the device. You can also import, export Hikvision system configuration settings from one device to another if required. The upgrade option is where you can update the system or connected cameras firmware if required. In the hard disk operation option, smart menu option, you can run hard disk self tests on connected hard drives in the device to check that they are operating correctly. Thanks for watching our video, I hope you found it useful. Please uh, watch any further videos and subscribe to our channel.